here we go. Also hoping the wheels of investment would be turning in their favour were Scott Fidget and Sam Parham. Oh, yeah, I like that. Love that. I want one. They were looking for a dragon to invest in their business, selling a nifty new mode of transport. Turbo Wheel is the UK exclusive distributor for Airwheel products. The Airwheel is a revolutionary transportation device. The user simply leans forward to go forwards. They can lean back to slow down and stop. What we would like to do is invite one of you to come and have a go on the unit yourself. We have to ask that twice. Okay. <laughs> Bike enthusiast Piers Linney wasted no time taking the product for a spin. If you stand still, it's very difficult. But yeah. you know when you've got momentum, that's when you've got your balance. Good, confident lean forward. I was scared dead, but too much. <laughs> <laughs> and keep going, keep going. <laughs> there you go, good. <laughs> And after a quick crash course, the entrepreneurs let the dragons in on the secret to success. Our background is as stunt performers. Pardon? Stunt performers. <laughs> oh, that's why he's so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Once the den's own action man had caught his breath... <sighs> flipping it. Get your heart going, huh? It was straight down to business. How much are they? Uh, this particular unit we sell for... £750. And the X3 is our lowest price at £490. There needs to be a bit of a reality check because kids, they're all going to want this, but they're not going to be able to afford it. We obviously thought that this was going to be something for fun users as well, but we've actually found our largest market is actually commuters. You um, have one of these coming down at your feet in a busy commuter belt. You know, you've only got to make one mistake and that thing carries on and goes into my ankles. I tell you, there's going to be fights on the pavement. Yeah, I mean, I can absolutely appreciate that perception, and, and obviously... Well, it's not a perception, it's a reality. The duo's sales targets also started to ring alarm bells. Can I ask you about your distribution um, agreement? Essentially, the initial discussion with them was that we were going to achieve 3,000 uh, unit sales in the first year. We have since been speaking to them uh, about reducing that, and they have said that that's fine, we've just got to get that sort of side of things in writing. So you come into the den with an exclusive distribution agreement that unless you agree a renegotiation, you're going to lose. Yeah, we have developed a great relationship with the manufacturer. The problem with um, great relationships is that they don't stand up in court. Yeah, totally. In the end, the Dragons couldn't see any momentum in the business. Because of the agreement that you've got, you haven't designed this and you don't own it, it's not really a business for me to invest in. It's a product that I want, but I don't want to invest in. It's not a business with longevity, so I'll look out for them, but I'm afraid I'm out.